Hey everyone, this is Carla R. Jenkins, and I would like to welcome you to my uh, personal Facebook live stream page. I greatly appreciate all uh, live and replay viewers for taking out the time to watch my uh, Facebook live video. I greatly appreciate it. I know it's the weekend. So, as always, I usually come on here on Monday just to chat about what happened, but I've had an extremely monumental week, even with the 4th of July holiday. And I want to give you a little recap of what happened. Actually, on Monday uh, was the day before Independence Day, and you know, I you know I was I've been on eBay. Hey, Andrew, I've been on eBay ever since for over a year. So I've been selling. I've done very well, and I learned a lot of lessons since then. But. On Monday, I thought, okay, I already made a sale, so I'm just going to rest. But then I saw someone I subscribed to on YouTube drop a clear, crisp video. And I was like, well, you know, she can do it. I can do it. So, E, I'm doing well. Thank you. If she can do it, I can do it. You know, she's not resting the day before a holiday. I'm going to do it because it's still a work day. So what I decided to do was go on YouTube Live, which is formerly Google Hangouts on Air, and I just used my webcam and I did the screen share and I actually did a, a eBay live stream of the, the items that I currently have. It was like 30, 31 minutes, but I did it and then I started sharing it and sharing and sharing it. So I did it on Monday. I uh, shared it on Tuesday and on the 4th of July, I also wrote an article entitled 12 Things That I Learned on my first year at, on eBay, and that's on my Carl R. Jenkins site. I also created two blog posts, one about how I saw the, the lady on YouTube uh, with her video the day before a holiday and how I decided to do it, and also just, you know, my new live stream. So I just kept doing it. Now, on Wednesday, what happened was the person who was supposed to pay on Monday didn't, so automatically, thank you for the thumbs up, automatically what what happens is you get an open case for an unpaid item strike and for those who don't know on ebay an unpaid item strike is when you say you're going to buy your bid on an item the seller accepts it and you don't pay so after two days you have 48 hours to pay so after 48 hours she didn't pay there's an open case against her she has four more days to pay well i was still you know sharing my content and everything so on thursday what well what back up on Thursday? I see a counter offer, so I go on YouTube and I check my inbox, and then I learned that somebody paid for something. I didn't even know that like Wednesday night someone paid for something, and then on top of that, I I relisted the items. So on Wednesday, I relisted some of my items. I looked at the eBay recommendations, and I just went to sleep. Well, I didn't know that relisting one of the items they got bought. Then on Thursday. The person who was supposed to pay, she paid, so I shipped our item. I got another sale and then another one, which is four. And I I was just like like flabbergasted, like all of this was happening. But I attributed to not being complacent just with one sale and respecting the fact that even though it was the day before the 4th of July, which was a holiday, I created a live stream and I showcased my stuff. I put it on Twitter. I did an aggregate share. So there's Twitter share accounts. I shared it. So I kept going and kept going and kept going. And that was extremely important in the getting the sales. And they didn't stop there because the person who placed the order on Thursday, she actually paid and then I got another sale. And I'm very happy about that. It, it, it's what I've been saying also, not just about perseverance and being diligent, but it's looking at the feedback. For instance, like when things aren't selling, then look at, you know, sometimes I take the eBay recommended, you know, price. And by doing that, it did sell. But also why I'm so big on live stream and I've been on Periscope. I will be on Periscope, I believe, two years this month. It's July 2017. I learned about, I well, Samsung and Android got Periscope in July. And I've been on there for two years. But it just magnifies the importance of live stream and incorporating it. Just, just not for eBay, but for anything. And right now, for me, I'm do, I've done 
Periscope for two years. I've done Facebook, I think Facebook Live for a year and a half. I, I did some Instagram Live, and it just about literal less than a month ago, it got a 24-hour replay. And then I also do YouTube Live, which I say was formerly Google Hangouts on Air. And with YouTube Live, I would implore people, even though they do Facebook Live, to do YouTube Live because YouTube is the second largest uh, second largest search engine owned by Google, which is the largest search engine. And if you put it in YouTube, it has way better SEO, which is search engine optimization. Also, it can serve as a way of you know storing your your items, and you can share it on multiple platforms with Facebook Live you can't really share to, you know, Pinterest. I mean, you can get the link, but then you have to get the link, share it in Pinterest, share it on Twitter. You don't even have to do that with YouTube. You have the button, social media share buttons. You can do all that. But just, you know, get on live stream and you can promote yourself. You can promote your items, but it just magnified the importance of not stopping just because there's a holiday around the corner and people are still looking at your stuff. They're still buying. They're still looking for quality items. Be diligent. Expand how you're selling because the one thing I did was I, I, I got this idea from participating last June in the XD 30-day challenge where you're supposed to write every day. And so one of my final one of my final entries was enlarging my tent. And from that was from the book Isaiah 54. And it's about enlarging your tent, enlarging your territory. So I just promised every day to think of something new that I would do. So I was like, okay, just come up with a new idea. So for me, it was doing a new live stream, sharing that. Then the next new idea was um, writing about my experience and putting it in the blog and embedding the the video in the blog and then the next idea was to share my my merchandise because on ebay you have twitter share buttons and facebook share buttons so share my inventory twice a day so i will share it at 12 noon and i'll share it at eight or nine o'clock when everyone gets off from work and puts the kids to bed and, and then the next idea is to write an article about the live stream and embed it there and just to write about and then just every day do a new idea. And by adding new ideas, I'm adding new ways that I can promote my store and generate sales. And one of the other ideas was in addition to writing the 12 ways that eBay, uh, that what I learned from eBay for my first year is also looking at the recommendations and maybe pricing according to those and see you know, whether or not that would work and it actually netted me two more sales. So I just wanted to come on here and, and notify everyone, both live and replay viewers. I'm great. I'm grateful that you're watching it, but these are some of the things that I learned this week. That's why I entitled it eBay Adventures. It's one of my blog posts and what one of the things that I write about on my blogger, um, Blogspot blog, which is through Google and, and how, you know, I had to boss up and get the YouTube live going, get everything going. So I do see myself doing a new live and updating my inventory and talking about what I've accomplished and some tips about it because I always make sure that one of the things I do when I'm on live stream is to make sure that, you know, I give people the behind the scene and the business because eBay is a business and you have to approach it as such. It's more than just selling clothes. So that's something I also incorporate in my live streams. And I think that's why people watch them, not just for the clothes, but to learn something from them. So I would like to thank everyone for taking out the time to watch uh, my Facebook Live, both live and replay viewers. I hope everyone has a productive day. And I'll see you in the next live stream. Goodbye.